Hi friends, it's Monica, and today let's review Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. This contemporary romance wasn't anything groundbreaking, but it did tackle a unique topic that I haven't seen before, which I think might be Catherine Center's forte and specialty in the contemporary romance genre. I ended up rating Hello Stranger a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And let's first get onto a quick description. Sadie is a starving artist and she is waiting for her big break that she might get in a portrait competition when she finds out she's a finalist. All things are going well until she finds out that she needs to get surgery on her brain to fix a lesion. But after the surgery, something is wrong. Sadie realizes she can't see anyone's face and she's then diagnosed with face blindness. And to make things a little more complex for Sadie, she starts to fall for two different guys. First, I do want to cover what I did enjoy about this book, despite its misgivings that I will cover in the bad section. I did think that this book really did have great messages and a really lighthearted romance, so that really did win me over. Of course, the biggest thing in this book was about Sadie coming to terms with being diagnosed with face blindness and Catherine Center does provide like a small blurb at the end of the book of this condition. It's really hard to say. I'll put it on the screen. I think it's called prosopognosia. It was a very interesting take to see on what a character might go through if they come to realize they can't see or like their brain is unable to recognize faces anymore. So it really showed the struggles that Sadie went through when she found out that this was happening to her. Especially for Sadie, she is losing her livelihood of being able to paint portraits where she needs to be able to see people's faces. So then she comes up with more creative ways to get that portrait done for that competition. I really did like her resilience here and it really just show that being an artist, you have to be quite creative and especially for Sadie in this case. It was also very nice to see that Sadie does have a really nice group of people around her that support her and those interactions made my heart really warm. <laughs> Besides the face blindness, Sadie does come to terms with past struggles and present troubles and she confronts people to actually heal and I really did like how she took that initiative to actually stand up for herself now. On the romance front, it was very lighthearted with the interactions being light and breezy and very flirty. However, I think my main issue with this book was how Sadie reacted to things and that's going now into the bad section of this video. Sadie is one of those characters who are really down on their luck with the one bad event happening right after the other. So with all those things happening all at once, it can get hard to find the motivation or to remain hopeful while you're experiencing all of those bad things at once. I did feel for Sadie of what she was going through, but at times with her reactions to certain things, she did come off as a little bit self-centered. And it felt like she was waiting for someone to come along and solve her problems, but safe to say that she does step up and take that initiative for herself. One particular instance that comes to mind is when Sadie's best friend announces a huge life-changing event. And at first Sadie is happy for her friend, but then she turns it around on herself that like, oh my god, I don't have anyone around me anymore. I don't have my best friend to support me through this face blindness thing. But really, I digress here because I think it would be quite scary to have your brain not be able to recognize people that you've known your entire life. So I get where Sadie is coming from. I do understand why the author made the character this way, but it really didn't make it hard for me to find a connection to any of the characters, including the love interest. With her love interest, we have first the vet, Dr. Addison, who is not really present throughout the book. Then we have our second love interest, Joe, who is Sadie's neighbor and who shows up at very convenient times and helps Sadie out a lot. There is a twist to the romance and <laughs> after the twist reveal happened, I was a little bit surprised at how I didn't catch on sooner, but I really did like that twist in the end. The romances are quite lighthearted, but I feel that's basically it. The love interests, they do come to help Sadie and there are moments of chemistry, but besides that, I didn't really feel a huge amount of excitement that would come with reading about a new relationship being built up and all that intensity and stuff. 
it really ended up not being a super memorable romance. Which brings me to conclude that Hell Stranger would be a perfect book to bring on a vacation or a road trip because it's not such a serious romance. It's very lighthearted and I think that would be perfect for those type of settings. But you might find Sadie to be too much of a quirky protagonist. However, I do want to say that Catherine Center does emphasize the fact that even though you might become ill or diagnosed with something that does not make you any less than than anyone else. Those were all my thoughts for Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. I do hope you enjoyed this review and I do hope you have a wonderful day. And with that being said, I hope you can also give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.